It's an unsolved homicide or missing person case in Rhode Island. And tonight, Iowa News reporter Steve Nielsen sits down with an investigator who worked the case that day back in 1994. She was a mother, a daughter, a sister. She was loved. Evelyn Sanchez, the aide of diamonds. In the state medical exam. It's been nearly 25 years since the medical examiner took her body away. She was the daughter of a very loving mother. Evelyn Candy Sanchez was found dead in the junkyard off A Street. Her sister is um, misses her just as much today as she did 25 years ago. But who killed her? Johnston Police Detective Mark Barrows is trying to track down the killer. We're looking for any tip, anything that might point us in the right direction, any door we can knock on. The last time anyone saw Evelyn, a mother, was December 6, 1994. She was at the old B&D tap on Atwell and Valley Street in Providence. Then, December 13th, her body was found here, next to an old scrapped Warwick police van. She was bound and without any clothes. I remember it was a very cold night in December. Um, I think it was down like 20 something degrees. David DeTora was working for Johnston BCI that night. He retired years ago, but still remembers how Evelyn was found. She was definitely killed somewhere else and dumped there. That was obvious to us. Was this a case that struck you right away as being one that could go cold? Absolutely. Why? Absolutely. For that reason, for the, for the simple reason that of her background. Her background. Barrow says Evelyn knew a lot of people. She had been arrested for prostitution and she was a drug user. So the list of potential suspects, as you can imagine, was a lot. It made the case challenging. Years passed with nothing. Now Barrow says Evelyn's mom calls once a month, hoping, praying for something. Is that just a heartbreaking phone call to have every it, single month? It is because I have nothing new to tell her. Just because they have nothing to tell her now doesn't mean it'll always be that way. Toro says they collected evidence that cold night that could still hold clues. I think there's still hope. There's still hope. Some of the hope relies in someone saying something. This case isn't going away. It will be investigated today as it was 25 years ago. If we have something to work with, we're going to go full steam ahead. You just need that tip to point you in the right direction. Correct, Steve. We will. Someday. We will. Do you know who killed Evelyn Sanchez? Call 1-877-RI-SOLVE or go to our website, WPRI.com, to learn more about this investigation and all of the others we've covered so far in this series. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.